This video is sponsored by Squarespace. I'm surrounded by clothing racks, which only means one thing. We're putting together mystery bundles based off your Depop likes and your Pinterest board. So I did make five of them available on my website, which is twinl.com. Squarespace, love you so much. And the very first one we sold, the buyer was from Canada. So super sorry y'all, but I had to refund her because I'm not shipping these bundles internationally yet. It's just really tricky with the weight because first of all, I never know what items I'm gonna include. And then secondly, with all the freebies that I include, the weight is always gonna be drastically different. But if you are interested in like pre-pulled mystery bundles that I can ship internationally, let me know down below in the comments if that's something you're into and I can start making outfits based off aesthetics. So today we're gonna be creating four bundles. There is one that I'm so scared for just because, oh, it is so different from my personal style. It's a little bit more simple and minimalistic. I do for sure have one item that I wanna include for her, but the rest, I have no idea what I'm gonna do. So we're just gonna save that bundle for the very end. Let's get started with our first one. Our first victim is Shauna. Okay, so let's see what she says. I always ask for your likes, dislikes, your measurements, and then your links to Depop likes and Pinterest boards. So let's see, for likes, we have mini skirts and dresses are my favorite glasses. I like all sleeve lengths, nothing against three-quarter length, feminine flirty pieces, timeless staples, and also fun staple pieces with unique details, ribbon bow, subtle sequins. For patterns and shapes, we have butterfly stars, hearts, cherries, paisley, dainty, unique, floral, and kingdom. Fake colors, we have pink, light green, blue, white. And now for dislikes, we have pants, shorts, hard-finding, flattering pants for my measurements, extremely short skirts, super crop tops, bodycon dresses. I dislike zebra, leopard prints, overly vintage, played out floral. Colors I don't like are gravy, purple, gray, navy, neon colors. One thing that does make me a little nervous as someone with little A-cup babies is that she does have a bigger bust, so so for me, it makes it a little bit hard to visualize what size and what silhouettes would look good. Another note she makes is aesthetics. She likes cottage core, romantic grunge, and fairy. So I do have like a general understanding of aesthetics, but I'm much more of a visual person. So let's just click into her Depop likes and see what we're looking at. Okay, if you guys did watch my previous video, YouTube video, you know that I kind of already went through everyone's Depop likes and this skirt right here, this aqua one was great inspiration because I went to go thrift someone's backyard where they had like a ton of dead stock 90s Y2K pieces. So I do have something very similar to that. We have some plaid. We have this skirt right here. It's black and has like, what is this? Red flowers and leaves on it. I recently picked up something super similar to this. So I'm really, really hoping that what I have fits her. And then as we're scrolling here, we do see a lot of fairy things. So pastel colors, super busy with prints, a lot of ruffles, flutter sleeves. There's another maxi skirt with this baby blue teal color. So I think she will really like that. So we're gonna pull that. Oh yeah, right now what I'm seeing is a lot of 90s silhouettes, especially with these dresses. So we have this one with the ruche bust and spaghetti strap. She doesn't have very many Depop likes. I can just scroll once and then we're done. But the good thing is that she is pretty consistent with her likes and her aesthetic. It's very feminine, ethereal, fairy. Oh, also, if you ever include something that I have listed in my shop and it's still available, I will just go ahead and toss it in. It makes my job super easy and I know that you like it, so perfect. We'll see if those measurements work out for her. I feel like this is a pretty easy one. I do understand her like, so let's get pulling. First thing I wanna pull for sure is this skirt here. So she did have two skirts that were a little bit more vintage and had lace trimming to them, but I feel like this is the closest that I can get. It is old school forever 21 tags are still attached and it has this little florid detail so it's making it very feminine it's also tiered so we're gonna hold on to this one there was oh yeah yeah this skirt here so she had a skirt very similar to this one it was black it also had red flowers only the one in her likes i believe the print was a little bit more minimal this one is just slightly more busy and then we have a ruffle tem but we're gonna hold on to her check measurements for sure and then just keeping things very fairy and floral playing with like an asymmetrical hem we're gonna include this one this one also has pretty fun details on the front and i feel like all of these skirts work because they're not mini, they're more of like a knee length committee. And she's totally okay with print. So I did pull a few dresses. We have this one here that just screams cottage core. And then we have this orange one. And then of course the one that she liked from my shop, which I'm really hoping that it fits because that would be absolutely perfect. Okay, right now we have three dresses and we have three bottoms. I like for there to be some sort of balance within my bundles. 
so I was thinking, ooh, for tops, I don't know, I kind of feel like I'm getting in my head now, but okay, let me just show these off. We have this little surplice one, which is like pretty toned down, but is very pretty in color. And then we have more of this obnoxious one that I feel like fits a lot of like the prints and the ruffles that we see. But she said she dislikes highlighter colors. So this is where I think I'm getting in my head. Is this a highlighter color? I'm pretty sure there's a highlighter this color. And also is this skirt a little too obnoxious in color? But she literally had two skirts that were very similar to this. So I'm just confused. I don't know, my hands are full with a lot of choices. So let me just go check measurements and then we'll see what works out. Bad freaking news. None of the dresses work. This one was way too big, way, way too big. I was really, really wanting this one to work out. But if they fit me big, they're for sure gonna fit her big. And this one, the bus is just way too snug on her and then i remembered in her likes at the very last on patterns she likes gingo and i was just like why did i not think of this top it's pink one of her colors that she likes it's totally gingham and it's the brand energy and i love that it's very feminine too so it has this like bustier style to it it has a little scallop trimming oh this is going to be perfect for it so we're actually including two freebies for Shauna just because her bust, not gonna lie, confuses me a lot. So we're doing this top for her fairy aesthetic, but I tried this on and this fits me perfectly. It does have a lot of stretch, but I'm not sure how it's gonna fit her bust. So we're just gonna toss it in and risk it. If that doesn't work out, this one for sure is gonna fit her like a charm. And this feeds into her cottage core aesthetic. And in her likes, she does have skirts and dresses. Sadly, I couldn't do any dresses for her, but we're gonna deliver on skirts. So we're gonna do the black one. I wanted to just toss this in because it is a contrast to all the light colored pieces that she has. We're doing the aqua. I don't care if it's maybe a little too neon, maybe too obnoxious. She does have two Depop likes that has this color. So we're just gonna try it out. And then lastly, we're doing this skirt just because it's super busy with the prints and she had that in just about every Depop like of hers. So Shauna, here's your bundle. Let me know how it works out. Thank you so much for trusting me to pick pieces for you. Let's move on to bundle number two. Let's take a little breather to thank today's sponsor, which is Squarespace. They empower individuals to create an online web presence and also launch their passion projects. So all thanks to Squarespace, I have my own professional website, twinl.com. This is where I sell all of my reworked vintage lingerie, but also my mystery bundles. If you've been looking to create your own website to sell physical, digital items, or even offer a service, Squarespace is a perfect place to start. And they also make it really easy because they offer a whole bunch of tools. The first one is e-commerce templates. So they have a whole library full of different different layouts to choose from. And all you gotta do is just choose the one that best fits your branding, and then you get to customize the color and the text. The second tool they offer is inventory management. And as I'm surrounded by all this clothes, this is obviously a super important tool for me just because I can't keep track of all this inventory off the top of my head. So Squarespace does all the organizing for me. They keep track of the quantities per style that I own. And they even go as far as sending notifications anytime something is low in stock or completely out of stock. The last tool they offer is a built-in mobile website. So all this means is that every design does come with its own unique mobile experience and it matches the overall branding of your website. So your customers are gonna be able to access your website through a desktop, a phone, or even an iPad. So take advantage of the free trial they have at squarespace.com, and then when you're ready to launch, visit squarespace.com slash twinel to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain using my code twinel. But a huge thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this portion of today's video. Let's get back to pulling mystery bundles. Why did no one tell me my zipper was down? Okay. Just ignore that from the previous clip, but bundle number two is for Becca. Also, Becca has been a longtime supporter of my channel and she is on Whatnot. I just recently bought a cute Bertha Venus trip dress from her. So if you guys wanna go support her, I'll leave her link down below in the comments. But let's see what she says. Her likes are very girly. I stick to bright colors, black with patterns, and love the color cream. I love greens, cream, pink, orange, brown, purples. I love micro mesh velvet, lace crochet, love paisley. I'm into Y2K fairy core right now. The second one that's into Y2K fairy, but also love boho mermaid girly vibes. Okay, the only thing that scares me about that is that I absolutely do not like boho or mermaid, so I rarely pick that up at the thrift, but 
fingers crossed we have some pieces for you in my inventory. I love mesh with all the details, looking for summer to fall transitions. I dislike the color blue, any shade. I feel it doesn't go well with my skin tone unless it's denim. I also don't need any pants, I have too many. I don't like all solid pieces unless they have some type of pattern. She also made a note about her Depop that she used to search a lot for rave items. So once you reach rave, you've gone too far. Okay, no worries. Let's check out Depop first. Let's see, this is my favorite part. I love to see what you guys are into. Oh yeah, so we have a lot of cream colors. We have like lace. We have micro mesh for sure. I can tell you off the bat, I don't have any micro mesh in my inventory, but I do, actually I might have, I do have one piece. I have plenty of lace though. Let's see what else we have. Ooh, okay, we have this dress here. It has a scoop neck. It looks like it's like total lace construction. And I recently, okay, you guys can't even see it, but I did recently pick something up so similar to this. So we're gonna check that out. We have more tiered skirts, and this one here is actually from my shop. I had it marked as sold, but I still have it. I was saving it for whatnot, but it didn't end up selling, so if it fits, Becca, we'll just go ahead and toss it in. Also have this halter top, which is so funny, and I have it in two different colorways, but the brown has been a lot more popular, so we have that exact top that we'll be able to pull for her. Okay, so we hit the rave item, so this is where we stop. I for sure have two items in mind. I don't know what I want to do for the last one, to be honest. She does have quite a few like bustiers and corsets, and I have a ton of dead sock stuff. So maybe you could see if one of those work, but I don't have green and I don't have orange like these two here. I'm usually really big on finding like an exact dupe or something as close as possible, but I think with this bundle, we're definitely going to have to draw inspiration. So let's put this away. Let's see what I've got. All right, where are we gonna start with this bundle? Okay, she had this skirt liked. I still have it in my inventory, even though it is marked sold on Depop. So we're gonna check measurements for this. Oh yeah, she also, this is my last one. She had this exact halter neck liked. And is it her size? Yes, okay, that's gonna fit her perfectly. She does like purple, so I'm just gonna pull a few things. I don't know if I'm crazy about that, to be honest. But I do only have one like paisley-ish type dress. Well, I have this orange one too, but we'll check measurements. This was a dress that I thought was such a good dupe to that one Depop like that she had. And it's like just about the same color. So we'll check that out. She also was into micro mesh. This is the closest that I can get to micro mesh. We did see like a few pieces that had like really dramatic sleeves and very busy prints. So we'll see if that works. So she did have a lot of very detailed camisoles and bustiers and she made a note that she liked the color cream. I have beige, so we can see if any of these, no, my cough is gonna work out. And these are super pretty. They're also dead stock pieces. Okay, look at how pretty that is. I feel like it really does fit into her vibe. We also have this one here that has underwire cups. All right, this is what we have pulled. I have a lot of decisions to make, so let me just take some measurements and then we'll see what works out and what doesn't. We took measurements, we made decisions. This one was too big, so we're not gonna do her. Oh, I really hope I'm not making a mistake here, but we're not gonna include this dress. I feel like it's such a good dupe, and she and I do have the same size hip. We have, we're big hip girls. We have 38 inch hips, and this just looks so good. It hugs the body in all the right places, but big butt, I just don't feel like it's an everyday piece. It looked a little too formal on the body. So I don't know how often she would wear it or whether she would even appreciate a piece like that. So I'm thinking we're not gonna even include it. I don't know what I was thinking with this purple piece. Just because she likes purple doesn't mean that it would fit her aesthetic. And then this top, not only was it too big, but I feel like even though it was close to her aesthetic, a lot of the pieces that did have sleeves like this and shared the similar print were more cardigans or had open front closures where you can wear them more as a layering piece so I just don't think that's a good pick but this is what is going into the bundle so she did say that she liked cream pieces honestly I don't think I know the difference between cream and beige but I feel like this pretty much meets all the bustiers that she had in her depop likes and then one of my favorites because she loves paisley and she likes purple we're gonna include this dress I know it looks really tiny on the body but 
Rebecca, when you put this on, you are gonna fall in love. It is so dang cute. And what's really cute too is that it has little bow details on the shoulder straps. And then I feel like these two pieces were very easy to choose just because they were in her Depop likes. Like this is the exact shirt that she liked. And fortunately for me, I did have it in her size. So we're doing that halter neck and then we're also doing this tiered skirt. And you know what? We're just gonna go ahead and include this dress. I feel like it was so close to her Depop like. I can't stop thinking about it if it is too much of like an evening gown i would say just take it to the tailor they can chop off the hem and then just accommodate it to your height but rebecca here is your bundle thank you so much for purchasing let's move on to our next one up next is bella let's see what her likes are she says i truly like everything green black pink white red brown maxi or mini skirts low high or mid waist jeans maxi or short dresses body or flowy t-shirts crop sweaters hello kitty it seems like bella's gonna be super open-minded but she does have dislikes and it's very short she just says no big floral graphic prints or oversized vests and she does make a note that her aesthetic is all over the place right now but she did send us her pinterest board so let's check it out okay right away i am seeing white green and red hues oh also things that are super 90s like a lot of these pictures are girls with like mini skirts and tights and boots so to me, it's giving like Rachel from Friends. And then it looks like a lot of layering. Like we have these two images where they're wearing dresses, but it has like some sort of shirt or long sleeve underneath. And she does have a few oversized vests in here, but we're just gonna disregard those. But I mean, she also has like waistcoats, like something that's just a little bit more fitted. So I actually have two different colors right now. I have black and brown, which I feel like either color would really fit with her vibe. There's a little section here that has a whole bunch of different tank tops, camisoles, and more structured pieces, which kind of gives me bustier vibes. And I do have a black one that might fit this one here and this one. Only this one adds like a little bit more detail to it. I'm seeing a lot of things in burgundy. So I just recently got these burgundy dead stock camis. So we'll see if one of those work out. Here's a picture with a waistcoat. So, oh look, and here's another one. We have one in black and in brown, so that's totally perfect. And this time around, I don't have anything that's crocheted. Yeah, I really don't. So I think we're just gonna continue scrolling. And we already reached the bottom of it. Oh wait, so for sure I'm getting very feminine 90s cool girl. So I do have a pretty clear understanding of her style. As of now, I have one piece for sure that I have in mind, but let's see what else I have. All right, let's start off with some waistcoats. These are brand new, tags are still attached. And I know she said no oversized vests, but these are fitted, they're cropped, and they're pretty sexy since they have an open back. So we have a brown one and we have this black one. Oh yeah, that's right. I also recently got these mini skirts. I feel like we saw this all over her Pinterest where girls were actually wearing the vest with the skirt and then some sort of cropped white t-shirt underneath. So I think for sure we'll do the skirt and I love that it's a paper tag made in USA. I don't think I'm done quite yet in my dead stock section. I think we're gonna pull a few of these pieces. She did have a lot of burgundy and I recently got these. Look at how awesome this burgundy is. We also saw Ooh, this light is so bad. Sorry, y'all. I use natural lighting to film, and sometimes it gets a little wild. But as I was saying, we saw a lot of burgundy pieces on her Pinterest, so I think I'm liking that. Or we have just like a classic black one. You can never go wrong with that. Or we also have these here. More color. We have this green top that's beaded and then has like a textured waist. And I had mentioned earlier that there were a few pieces that just looked a little bit more structured. And so we have this one that is slightly padded, but it also has this little lace-up detail and then embellishments throughout. We did see a lot of boleros throughout her Pinterest, and so we have this one. I will admit this was a personal thrift find for myself. I just didn't like the way that it looked, and this is not vintage. It's actually modern, so maybe we can just toss this in as like a freebie. And then maybe the last thing I want to include is this little baker boy hat. She did have one photo. I'll put it right over here. I was focusing more on the accessories and then I saw this and I was like, uh, that is like absolutely perfect. My gosh, same with this one. I feel like I picked up a lot of pieces, but I feel like we can easily narrow this down. So I feel like I did pick up a lot of darker colors, but she says that she pretty much likes a wide range of colors. So let's go ahead and do that. For sure, we're gonna do the baker hat. And let's see, between these two, we need the burgundy. We saw burgundy, we should give it to her. 
and then I just think for sure it's a no-brainer we have to do the mini skirt and this is where I can't really make a decision should we go for the brown or should we go for the black my mind is telling me to go with black because at least you can wear it with the skirt or do we want to like create multiple outfits and then do the brown I'm gonna say black. I don't think we're gonna be doing this black one, the more structured bustier. I just feel like we already included so much black. So this is what we do have. We're gonna do the hat for sure. We're just gonna toss in the crop sweater as a freebie. She could use it as a layering piece or just wear it alone. Because we need more color, we're gonna do this green camisole. She did have a few camis already like, so I feel like it's perfect. More color that we wanna include is the burgundy. This is one of my favorite pieces. I just think it's so good. And again, she had a lot of camis in that very same style the black skirt absolutely and then have to top it off with a waistcoat since she had so many liked so bella here is your bundle i feel like we did a pretty good job with the colors and keeping it cohesive with your overall pinterest board but hopefully you love your pieces thank you so much for purchasing let's move on to our last bundle yo we're down to our last bundle and i'm so scared I just don't want it to be bad. Okay, our last bundle is for Anna. And let's open up her email. So she sent over her Pinterest board and her Depop. But her likes are simple mini skirts, tank tops, camis, slip skirts, dresses, black, white, cream, neutrals, pink, green, beachy, summery, feminine, dainty, floral, elevated basics, free people, tasteful, white to Cambridge. I have no idea what that means, but anything cat related. And then she put, I love Amanda Simmons in at 90 manga and Louis Rose Depp style. Okay, to be honest, I have no idea what that means. I feel like... Again, I'm more of a visual person, so I just kind of have to see it to understand. But for her dislikes, she says purple, totally feel you on that. Neon, animal print, jeans, micro minis, anything itchy, corsets with boning. I feel like the easiest for me is always Depop like, so let's just open that up first. Oh, also, I do want to just note that I did ask her to go on a Depop liking spree because I was just having a really hard time just trying to understand and source pieces for her. So let's see what's new. Immediately we have camisoles and I like these right here just because it's giving very Ed Hardy they're very busy I love these Betsy Johnson fruit dresses but I already know I have nothing like that in my wardrobe and she did say she loved cat related things I don't think I could give up another the mountain cat graphic t-shirt and to be honest I think I've already worn them all so they're in the dirty clothes but I mean we have some dresses this one has like a patchwork detail this one here has an all over print and it's blue. We have more black items with red roses on them, which is giving more 90s. But then in the mix, we also have pajama pants and bikinis and matching sets. So I feel like for me, that makes it a little bit tricky. But if anything, one thing that she does have is just a lot of camisoles. Like we have this white one with pink straps or we have this two-tone blue one. But I just feel like everything in my inventory is just a little bit more busy, has more detail. To be honest, I have nothing right now. Let's just see what she has on her Pinterest board. I definitely see the whole beachy vibe, especially with this two-piece set, the white maxi skirts, the white camisoles. But I can tell you right now, I don't have anything like that. The closest thing I do have are these white, oh, you can't even see them, but I have white bustiers, but that's giving more like Y2K, lingerie, a little bit more sexy. It's so funny because I actually have this navy top. It's just not in her size. I know for a fact it's a size large. So that's not gonna work out. I don't know guys, I really am torn. See, we have another like Ed Hardy inspired tank top, this pink one with all the embellishments. So I do have one item in mind for sure. And then maybe this one here, we have a camisole where it has like the triangle cut and then the trimming along it. And then the last thing we have here are like juicy track suits, but I, I don't have that. I really don't feel confident. I think I might have two items in mind, but let's get pulling. So in her Depop likes and on her Pinterest board, she did have these Ed Hardy inspired tank tops. And the closest that I can get to that is with this camisole here. So it is a little bit more simple. The only thing that's like really is a statement are the embellishments that come together and make a cross. 
but you can see on the back it's totally clean and she did mention in her likes that she likes the color pink and then going solely based off of this image here i'm not sure what part of this she liked or maybe she just liked all of it but what stands out to me and what i know i have in my inventory is this camisole so we could revisit this black one here i feel like it's very similar the only difference really is the fabric type that looks more satin whereas this is crushed velvet but i feel like this is an item that is very simple can go well with a lot of different bottoms so i feel like this is a safe piece i had to revisit her pinterest board because i was just like i don't know what else to include besides these two pieces but i did find one more thing so if we look at this image right here we see that her top is entirely lace and I forgot that I even had these shirts. They're total lace construction and it's in black, very minimal. It's a color that she likes. And this one, I've already tried it on, is pretty fitted, just like in the image. Now we have three more items, but I want to see what else we can find because I feel a little bad that the other bundles have a ton of freebies and then she only gets the three. So I was scrolling more on her Depop likes and we did come across this skirt right here, which I feel like is pretty, oops, let me pull these out, which is pretty similar to these, which especially this one because it has that pleat right in the middle. The only thing is that it's missing the buttons, but I feel like this is gonna fit her a little too, a little too big. So then I have this one, which I kind of think I like a little bit more just because it plays with the buckle details. It still has pleats, still that neutral beige color. And I feel like this is a good transitional piece that she could wear now with less layers and wear it for fall. I really wish this was in her size. This is a size too big, but she literally has this on her Pinterest board. So that would have been so perfect. I hate when that happens, but I did notice that she has a lot of cargos. I don't have very many cargos left in my inventory. This is literally the last that I have. And they're still brand new with tags still attached. I know most of the cargo pieces that we saw were full length pants, but she never said anything about Capri. So we're gonna give it a try. I've made some final decisions. You guys could tear me apart in the comments, but I'm gonna stick with it. We're gonna do the pink one to meet all the Ed Hardy that she had liked. We're doing this black camisole because she had this black one. Only difference is the fabric type. And then we have this all lace one to match this photo where this girl is wearing this fitted sheer lace top. And then I don't know whether I went a little too far into her Depop likes, but we did see some skirts that look very similar to this one. And if this piece doesn't work out right now for the summer, it'll be perfect for fall, winter. And then I feel like this is a risky one, but it's a freebie. It's gonna be the cargo pant. It's the last one that I have in my inventory. There isn't too much going on with detail or in the color, so I think this might just work. But Anna, here is your bundle all picked out. I'm not gonna lie, but yours made me the most nervous out of all of them. I really hope all the pieces fit just like that, y'all. We are all done. Y'all, that pretty much does it for creating mystery bundles based off your Depop likes and your Pinterest boards. I am beat. That pretty much took all day long, and I'm also on day two of my period, so I'm ready to jump into bed, get out of these jeans, and just watch Netflix for the rest of the night. But if you are interested in a mystery bundle, they're available for purchase on my website, twinl.com. I have been getting a lot of DMs on Pinterest, Depop, and IG asking where you can buy them. It's my website, twinl.com. But the thing is, I post when they're available on my IG stories, so it's probably best if you just follow me on Instagram, I am twinnell underscore, and just keep eyes on my IG stories. Also, a huge thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. So if you wanna take your business to the next level, visit squarespace.com for a free trial, and then when you're ready to launch, visit squarespace.com slash twinnell to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain using my code twinnell. But definitely let me know all your thoughts below on the bundles that I created down below in the comments. As always, y'all, I do post videos at least once a week. I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye!